Hey everybody, today is September 7, 2013 and today I'm going to give you guys an update on the Linksys WRT54G Wireless G Router with DD-WRT firmware. I made a video about this router I think two years ago sometime in 2011 and posted it to YouTube. I had no idea that that video would become my second most popular video behind cooking with Intel. That video was not very good quality because I kept doing this a lot in the video. I had no idea why I was doing it. I was just rocking on, on my heels while I was making the video. So I figured I'd just give you guys an update on this router to um, tell you how it's doing. Anyways, this again is a Linksys WRT54G Wireless G Router. You're probably asking, Nick, what are you doing still using a Wireless G Router? I mean, N's been out for many years and you've got AC coming out now. Well, um... The thing is, all my devices are wireless G. I don't have any wireless N computers. And matter of fact, um, most of the time, the only thing that's getting used by the wireless is this brother printer, the Kodak printer that's in my room, and in some cases, our neighbor's computer, and maybe a few smartphones from time to time. And um, the only time I actually use the wireless is with my Dell Instrument 1525 or my mom's um, netbook those are the only laptops we have that are really in service but um basically I'm going to explain why I flashed this router with DD-WRT the thing about Linksys router is, is um, they seem to be built pretty well I mean hardware wise they're pretty solid now the older ones seem to be better built than the newer ones but Linksys routers have always had issues with firmware Anyways, when we got this got this router um, in, I think, August 2006, um, we had problems right from the get-go. Now, my very first router was a Belkin, and I had no idea what the model number was. Both routers were purchased from Walmart. The Belkin router was a piece of junk. I mean, I could not get it to work right. My buddy Tim managed to get it working, and he actually got on a, like a year or two of use out before it got fried by lightning. But um, at least he had some use out of it. But anyways, I got this Linksys router because I knew Linksys was a better brand. And right from the get-go, we had issues with firmware. So I got a hold of Linksys technical support, and they um, sent me a newer firmware to flash to the router. And obviously, how you do that is you just go into the router's firmware using a web browser and flash it. And then you're pretty much good to go. And that pretty much solved the problem in terms of router stability yet there were many times to where the router would have to be reset and usually these times weren't very often I can't exactly specify the duration of runtime the router would work between resets but it seemed to be as if the router had to be reset, reset more and more often and it got to the point to where if I was using something that was bandwidth intensive, intensive such as downloading files or using Google Earth, this router would have to be reset probably once to th three times within a 15 minute period. Basically what would happen is um, the router would drop internet access from the modem. Local network uh, connections such as two different computers would still work, but internet service would drop and it was not the modem's fault it was the router with the modem all the, all the lights were properly functioning the online light was lit the link light was either lit or flashing like it's doing right now more or less the modem was up and running now by the way this is a um this is the kind of modem that time warner gives you when you're using their digital phone service my mom and dad had digital phone to them and of course i use mad jack plus but um, basically, this router kept resetting and resetting and resetting. I mean, not actually resetting by itself. It kept dropping access, and I'd have to reset it and reset it and reset it. And it was getting extremely aggravating and annoying. I was about to chunk the router out the window. I was getting so aggravated with it. But I did have happen to know about um, the DD-WRT firmware, which DD-WRT is a third-party firmware written for many different models of routers such as Linksys, Netgear, and probably D-Link. I mean some models from them. And um, there are also other third-party firmwares out there like Tomato, for instance. There's one called Tomato. 
but there's a popular one that's called DD-WRT that is written off of Linux. And I just had to give this give this writer a try with DD-WRT. Now it's been so long since I did this flash, I can't e exactly give you all specifics on how I did this, but you can go back and watch my original video and I explained it a bit more well in that video. But basically, when I had to flash the firmware on this thing, it was kind of like this. I had to go into Network and Sharing Center, go to Change Adapter Settings, and it's, it's funny, AOL decided to um, tie itself to a modem as they um, <laughs> has internet access when um, our phone is voice over IP. Anyways. I would have to go in and disable TCP slash IP version 6 and only use version 4. I, like I said, I can't exactly remember all the specifics of it, but the older routers, you had to use some special software to force flash the firmware to them. These routers were more, ex more, were more restrictive at trying to, uh, um, trying to block third-party firmware from being installed. Now, the newer routers are much more easy. I have flashed a newer version of a Linksys router with DD-WRT and it was relatively simple. As a matter of fact, all I had to do was go into the um, router's firmware in the browser and just click update the firmware and browse, find the file and update the firmware that way. But with this router, it was a bit more of a pain. Now, as I mentioned, for more specifics on that, please go back and watch the original video. But I'm going to go and show you exactly what DD-WRT looks like um, in a web browser. So basically what I'll be doing here is I'll be typing in the, um, the router's IP address, which is Here's a look at the firmware. Now, basically, um, the D-WRT firmware has a lot more um, customization options available. It's a lot more um, power user friendly. It allows you to do a whole lot. It tells you um, wireless clients <clears throat> and DHCP clients, all that kind of stuff. Which there's quite a few on here. And yes, we've had an iPhone um, Connect and iPod Touch. I believe these devices were um, from our neighbors, which is perfectly fine. <clears throat> and this router is actually unlocked because if you have a look outside, this isn't a very tight neighborhood or anything. It's just, just I mean, the front yard itself is like an acre. And that's a main highway out there. People can't just stop in the middle of the road. Neighbor on this side, um, they got just one computer. They barely use it. Not very technically inclined. And same goes for the neighbor next door. They don't even have. He don't even have a computer. Doesn't even have. Probably only have a smartphone or nothing. But um, anyways, security is turned off. Been that way for seven years. Never had any problems. Anyways, it t it here it tells you all sorts of information about the status of the router. And I'll tell you what, the, the funny thing was with this router before it flashed the firmware, firmware. I was on the phone, I think making a doctor's appointment, and the router decided to crash. And I'm, um, it was right in the middle of a phone tree, too. So I ended up having to reset the router and then call back all over again. So it was very aggravating which at the time I was using Magic Jack. But with this DD-WRT firmware, the router has been rock solid. No problems at all. You know, I, I don't even have, I, there's no memory I can think of of this thing even crashing at all. The only time the router was down was pretty much when the internet was down. Which with time more cable, it does happen. Um, somewhat often. Usually it goes up for about, I don't know, five, ten seconds. 
anyways, it's um, asking for information here. It tells you just the um, status tells you the CPU clock, which what's funny is you can overclock the router using this firmware. Tells you about memory, total available, free, used, buffers, cached, um, active, inactive, network. Go over here to WAN, which is wide area network. This is your internet access. This router's firm, this firmware can tell you traffic. So if your um, if your internet service is metered, you might want to check this often. And we usually get about um, per month. I'd say 80 to 100 gigs of usage. Let's see. Um, July was very heavily used, <laughs> 116, almost 117 gigs of incoming and 20 gigs of outgoing. So yeah, this um, firmware tells you all about that. Go over here to LAN. It tells you DHCP clients, the TV box, the seat Infinity V4 TV card, brother printer. Magic Jack Plus, Mid Tower Lux, Mid Tower Lux Black Max, Kodak Printer. It's currently what's active right now. Well, actually, no, here's what's active. But actually, um, it's kind of funny to note the Brother Printer is, is um, it's plugged in, but it's probably in sleep, and same goes for the Kodak. This ain't going to be really, this isn't going to be a very in depth tour of the DDWRT firmware. It's just give you my opinions on how well it's worked. It's a very power user friendly firmware. I give it a wireless. It, you can set your security mode, set the um, SSID broadcast, wireless channels, all sorts of stuff. Of course, there's a wireless security. Here's what um, we could turn on if we wanted to. So anyways, just to um, sum this up, the Linksys router with DD-WRT firmware has worked flawlessly. And like I said, it's been two years since I've done this firmware flash. This router is seven years old now. And below that is a D-Link gigabit switch because this router only has a 10100 switch built into it. And I got two computers that use gigabit LAN. So anyways, um, that was just kind of an update video on the Linksys WRT54G router with DD-WRT firmware. And um, I'm going to show you the version that's on here. This is firmware um, version 24 service pack 2, 072209. So yeah, it's pretty. It's, this this firmware is actually four years old. I'm not sure if they still write newer versions for this router or not. Like I said, I acquired this firmware in 2011. So anyways, any questions or comments? Feel free to ask them. Thanks for watching.